to understand that. And then secondly, there is the irresponsibility of a political and military elite in Nigeria. The irresponsibility of the political elite by cashing in, in on this poverty. We all know what started Boko Haram. Everybody knows. It was started in Borno by the then Borno governor, Ali Sharif. He is still roaming the streets freely. Yes. When, 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 when uh, the, the, the Yusuf, Yusuf was caught alive. Who created it? The Ecomog. Who created the Ecomog? We have to look at the root cause in order to find a, a solution. The root cause of that problem, as we know it today, is Ali Sharif. He used them for his own political machinery. He armed them as his political thirds. He even made one of them a commissioner. But they became too powerful. And they had no option but to try an elimination, which was not possible, and which we are all paying for. The military came in, and they cashed in. And they have turned the Northeast into a cash cow. Military jumbo budgets. Unaccounted for. I remember Jonathan was spending 2 billion naira every day on security. But there was no security. Hundreds and thousands of our people were slaughtered. And we also know that the army more than anything else in Borno and Yobe have contributed and enforced this so-called terrorism. Terrorism has become a multi-billion dollar industry. It is a multi-billion dollar industry. It is not only national, but it is international. But let us talk of Nigeria, because that is what concerns me. We know, I have been part of a committee that investigated the atrocities of the Boko Haram. And that committee indicted the military more than anything else. There is no house in Borno that the military has not either killed or raped or plundered. There is no house in Borno. There has been committee after committee set up by the government. And the government has failed to bring these people to book. In fact, this current leadership of the military in Nigeria today is an extension of that one. And this government has failed to even acknowledge the reports of those investigations. We all know today that in this government, papers have been given, investigations have been made into the atrocities and the corruption in the military. We all know today that the Air Force, we, we, the, the, the papers or the investigation of the Air Force has been made public. That of the uh, Navy has been made public but that of the army has been swept under the carpet by this government because they are not only sustaining it, they are not only retaining those culprits, but they are still serving in various capacities in this government as a government that is supposed to be fighting corruption more than any other place or more than any other thing. <laughs> now, with this, we should also look at the irresponsibility of the political elite. The political elite in this country have done nothing but to cash in on this poverty, on this ill education of the mass majority of Nigerians. They use them, they have used you and turned your psyche into slaves, slaves of religious and ethnic manipulations. No one has ever seen the son of a governor even going out to campaign. No one has ever seen, no one has ever seen the son or the daughter of the president going out to campaign. And no son of even a counselor, not talk of a senator or a chairman or a governor that has been abducted. 
or that has been slaughtered on the streets. But the idiots that call themselves the, mass, the masses allow themselves to be used through religion or ethnicity to divert attention.